welcome to Cheza Karaoke. Please subscribe down below and comment and God will bless you. Today we are going to study about what are the three most important realizations life has given me. What three most important realization life has given me? Number one, always treat others as though they will die before you see them again. Always treat others as though they will die before you see them again. What I mean? What I mean by this is another way of saying, don't be a nurse. This includes those you do and those you don't know. If you know someone was going to, be, to, to die, how would you treat them? Would you be nice, nicer, more understanding? Would you forgive them for something they did? The, sto the story behind this is that I had a shitty relationship with my father. I could never forgive him for all the shit he does to my family in the past to keep trying and trying to, to reach out and make a med, but I remained aloof. I, want I wanted nothing to do with him even if he had said one day my mom came into my room looking completely miserable with tears fresh in her eyes, Alice, Alice, daddy died. I was so confused. At first I thought she was referring to her daddy. He had been having heart issues recently and I was worried about his health. Papa, I asked, throwing my laptop off my lap, lap and getting up, my mom slowly shook her head. No, Daddy, he was training a student. He was a truck driver. When a car swerved in front of them, the student didn't know any, any bit bitter and tried to avoid the car. They drove into a bank and hit a tree. After she left, I ran my hands through my hair and faced back and forth. 11 a, a, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, God, I have started sobbing. I am sorry, Dad, I give you, I forgive you. I repeated that many, many times in the following week when I was myself. I learned more about my dad at his, his funeral than I had as his daughter. The thing is, he was a great man, but a terrible husband and father, but at least he tried. I doesn't ex excuse his action, but I realize I am related a lot to my daddy and his issues. Unfortunately, because of that, I can understand his action and how hard it was for him to even reach out despite always being rejected. You never know what you have still, it is gone. Number two, being joyful doesn't only have to be the result of everything going light. It's choosing to be happy in the face of everything going long. I'm not going to lie. This is tough one that I still struggle with in my life. Perspective is everything. I once re read a quote, a quote, a quote somewhere that said something like this if you are thinking about the future you are worrying about something if you are thinking about something learn to enjoy and live in the present this is this isn't saying you should never think about the past or future but don't dwell on what you can't change i need to remind myself when i am dwelling on something that right now in that moment i don't have to think about that particular problem i'm trying to list the thing in that moment that i can enjoy and focus on them the simplest pressure in life can't add up to a lot i also look forward to the small things in the day whether that eating a snack when I get home, whistling practice, watching a movie, whatever, words of its wisdom. Look forward to the small things in the small things in the day. It will help you get through it. Number three, everyone is going to leave you eventually. Life, the world, and the people aren't like what they are in fiction. So don't place your expectation that high. So and so I learned this one one the the hard way. I mean who doesn't want a friend that would fall into Tara's 
with them or who would always have your back no matter what are they protected you when you are in trouble sure some people are like that to a certain extent but no one is going to go completely out of her way for you People tend not to do things but don't benefit themselves. The only rare exception, exception that I know would be people in the military corps, sometimes cops, I, who do often give their lives for their camaraderies. But regular people forgot about it. This means you have to look out to yourself. No one is going to do that for you. If on the other chance you do it, won't be forever. People come and go in life and there is not a lot you, you can do to stop it. But that's okay. You'll meet more and better people. Well, hopeful. Welcome to Tiza Kariuki. We have learned about what the most important realization in life has given me. What the most important realization life has given me. Yes, we have talked about always treat others through they will die before you see them again. That is number one. Number two, being joyful doesn't only have to be the result of everything going right. Yes. That's number two. Number three, everyone is going to leave you eventually. Yes. Please subscribe on my channel. And you report to learn a lot about life and many things. Please subscribe. Subscribe down below in the red, red icon. And may God bless you. Bye.